this is the motorhome that we bought when we came to New Zealand and we absolutely love it and we want to share with you why we like it so much. Well the first thing for me is that I love driving it. I've got very limited experience of driving a motorhome. I must admit I was a bit scared but I'm absolutely fine and this is easy to drive. Yeah, and I can second that. One of the reasons I really love this motorhome is because the bed at the back is so huge. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It's probably just the size of a normal double. The length of it, and I'm over six foot, is just amazing, it's enormous. My man's comfy in bed. Yeah. The second thing I really love about this motorhome is that it's got aircon in the front, and that is so useful here when the temperatures are getting up to 30 degrees. It's an absolute dream. What about you, Peg? Well, on the temperature thing, although it only gets up to about 28, 30, it feels so much hotter here because the UV is so much higher in New Zealand. But the other thing I would say is, something I love here is that there's an oven and a grill. Um, I don't have that in my motorhome back home, so it's lovely to be able to just do a bit of cheese on toast. Oh, we love our cheese on toast. <laughs> So the next thing I love about this is we've got a massive fridge and a freezer compartment so Rob can have his ice. It's incredible. I absolutely love the fridge freezer. It's huge. Well, certainly compared to our one back home. Yeah, and the fridge is really good size as well. You can actually find things in this one. And the other thing I like, similar to the bed, is the shower. So it's got a, we've got a separate shower in the toilet cubicle, which is great, and the water pressure is really strong. So I suppose what the minus part is that we might be getting through the water quicker, yeah. but it's just like having a shower at home. It's really, really good. So this is where the gas bottles are stirred. Two gas bottles, and you can get them replaced pretty much anywhere all over New Zealand. Very simple, very reasonably priced. As we move along here, this is where you plug the electric cable in. Now we've been in New Zealand now two and a half months and we've never plugged the electric cable in once. We've got two solar panels on the roof and never needed any electric. This is the garage, accessible from both sides. You can get plenty of treasure in here. <laughs> so as you can see from here, there's plenty of room, even space for a barbecue. So this was a neat addition we got with the motorhome. Slide out barbecue. We've added the barbecue. So uh, that's a really useful feature that we've used many times. This garage is humongous, much bigger than the one we've got back home and we can store plenty in it. This is where we store the toilet cassette. Nice and easy, convenient to empty and reload. Fresh water goes in here. And we have a pipe to connect to the grey water valve here uh, for when we want to empty. Two great mirrors either side for visibility when we're driving. So inside we've got the sink. We've got a little oven and a grill that goes in here. We've got storage, top and bottom. We've got three gas burners, as well as the grill and the oven. More storage. We've got a fantastic size fridge freezer in here as well. So this is the freezer part of it and this is a really big fridge which is about twice the size and capacity of the one we have back home. More storage here. This is our little fixed bed area. And inside here we've got the shower and the toilet. So we've got a separate shower area that you can close off we've got a shower screen and we've got the toilet which has got the cassette outside and two lots of storage as well by the sink. Then we've got the seating or the dining area here and there's two seat belts as well so you can take two extra passengers. We've got a television up here and we don't watch a lot of telly but we do every now and again watch a film. 
We've also got the control panel up here and this is really useful. So if you want to see, um, you can either turn the water pump on or off. You can have the lights on outside. This is the power, which I shouldn't really turn on or off. You can work out how much water you've got, what, what you've got in your batteries. And as Rob said earlier, we've been absolutely so lucky with having such a lot of sun. We've, our solar panels have done us proud. Turn your water on here. And not that we've needed it, but you can turn the heating on there as well. So we've got heating and a way of heating the water. We've also got up here another double bed. Now we've not used this area at all for anything other than storage, but that's there. And before I show you in the cab area, I also wanted to show you that we have got a really good area here for hanging, hanging clothes, etc. So there's a nice little wardrobe. This is a 2017 Fiat Ducato Zephyro 295. It's automatic and it's three and a half tonnes. It's a 2.3 diesel engine and we believe that the vehicle was originally imported from Europe to New Zealand. So here we've got the stick for the cruise control, indicators, windscreen wipers. You've also got controls here for the radio so you can um, control the volume, change tracks and also a phone if you've got a phone attached to it. You've got aircon as well which works quite effectively. This is a very useful um, addition uh, if you've got a tablet or a phone or a sat, some kind of sat nav then you can easily just attach it in there regardless of its size and it's really handy. It's got a multitude of sockets so you've got USB charging here, you've got your normal 12 volt and down under here again you've got a further USB which um, is either used for charging or to connect to your to this radio. So there's also glove compartments at the front. There's one here for putting bits and pieces in. There's one here. There's lots of places to put your tea and coffee or drinks of water. And also a place for keeping all your maps, which was really handy, as well as bigger storage down below. Yeah, and on the driver's side, there's this really handy pockets here. And I use them to put my uh, driving glasses. So there's one just down to the right and one under the steering wheel. Quite reasonable size pockets. Holds sets of glasses very comfortably. It's not switched on at the moment, but this is a handy reversing camera, which shows us uh, just around where the bumper area is, um, so we don't hit anything. Extras we didn't expect when we bought this motorhome was this pure sine wave inverter. This has proved invaluable to us when we've been charging laptops, phones and whatever else we've brought on our travels. It's just been really useful. And there's a couple of sockets here to uh, make use of it. And as I said earlier, we've never had to plug the electric in. We've now been off grid for something like two and a half months. We have no problem at all. The, the dual solar panels on the roof have worked flawlessly for us. And I don't envisage any uh, situation where we're going to need to plug in in our uh, trip here over many months. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write them in the comments section below. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.